time for me to get back to you guys and answer a few questions. Uh, number one, I've been getting a ton of questions in the past couple weeks about building up your calves. Um, now, in order to build up your calves, you have to remember two things really. One is they're used to taking a beating. Every time you take a step, your calf goes to work, okay? So, doing your three to five reps, six to eight reps, really isn't gonna work with your calves if you really wanna see some change. You have to break that plateau. You gotta get 10 and above easy. I suggest doing 15 to 20 reps, even 25 reps at times, um, on any calf exercises you do. Now, the only time I'll take that rep range down is if I'm doing some kind of auxiliary exercise to the main work that I'm doing, and then I might take it down between 10 and 15, okay? Um, so for today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna do a calf crusher, all right? <clears throat> calf crusher, all right? First thing we're gonna do, we'll start with proper warm-up, okay? When we start into this, we wanna make sure our calves are nice and warm because that's especially where we're working today. So I'm gonna start with some basic jumping jacks, okay? And I'm gonna do uh, anywhere from 30 to 60 of these, okay? Okay, so those 30, okay? If you're feeling it a little bit, uh, keep going, okay? If not, you know, that's fine. We're gonna move into pogos. So pogos are real simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn, I'll turn so you can see you. You're gonna come up onto your toes, okay? Heels off the ground, and you're gonna make nice small hops, pop, don't let the heels touch the ground, okay? You're gonna do about 30 of those, all right? So now you should be able to feel a little tension in the calves. Uh, hopefully, they're warmed up quite a bit, but that added on to your traditional warm up. All right, next we're gonna go into high and low calf raises. Now, for this exercise, we're gonna get into the second part of what I was talking about you need to know when you do calf raises. One is, in order to completely develop your calves, you have to do it both from a straight leg standing position and also from a bent leg position, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use a physio ball and two sets of dumbbells. Now, the first set of dumbbells I have here, I'm using to elevate my toes so that I make sure that I get a proper stretch at the bottom of the movement before I make full extension pressing through my toes. The added set is for added resistance. So I'm gonna grab a hold of the dumbbells and I'm gonna roll this ball up onto the wall. I'm gonna place it behind my back a little bit high, okay? I don't really want it right on small on my back. I'll place it about mid back or a little bit higher, okay? So I want you to find that comfortable spot, which I'm almost there. A little difficult sometimes with the dumbbells in your hand. You're just gonna let the dumbbells hang to your side, okay? for this exercise, because we're going to start high. So I'm going to place my toes on top of the end of the dumbbells, okay? I'm going to make sure I'm nice and straight. I feel stretched through my calves, okay? And I'm going to perform 20 reps, and I'm going to press up. Make sure it's a nice, tight squeeze. I let myself down slow. So one up, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way through these 20 reps, okay? Remembering to drop all the way to the floor or just above the floor, making sure I stretch. Now, once I complete those 20 reps, I'm gonna kind of crunch down. So occasionally I'll drop the ball here, get a little bit lower. I'm gonna place my toes back on the dumbbells. I'm gonna 
Make sure the ball is just a little bit higher. Place my toes on the dumbbells, and I'm going to crunch down to a bent knee position, okay? Now I'm going to take the weights, and I'm going to put it right on top of my knees, and I'm going to press up. Again, solid press up, one, two down, press up. I got one of these dumbbells creeping away on me. Now, if this is your first time doing it, go ahead, do it without weights, give it a shot, make sure you're getting a nice stretch, make sure you're getting low. Okay? Work all the way through, all the way through your 20. Okay? So, 20 high, 20 low, then you get a short rest. Okay? You're going to repeat that three times. Now, once you're finished with that, we're going to move into a piston calf raise. And the way this works is, we're going to start in a low position, we're going to work our balance, and we're going to come up into a high position. Okay? So we're going to get down into kind of a sprinter lunge. Okay? We're going to place our hands on the ground, we're going to come up uh, on, our, on our forward foot. Okay? Here. You're going to raise up on the calf, press through the toe, and then you're going to push up. Now, I need to keep my balance there. We need to work, work on keeping our balance. So, I'm going to press up, push to stand, reverse, and set down, okay? Calf up, press through, reverse, heel up, press through. Okay? Then we'll repeat to the other side. Okay? We're going to do 12 to 15 each leg on here on this exercise, the piston calf raise. Okay? Hands down, non work legs up, press through the calf, up, stand. You see, I always, always a little off on my balance when I first start doing this. So don't be surprised if you are too. Properly warmed up, and reverse it. Up. Reverse back down. All right, 12 to 15 each leg. Now, you're going to do two sets of that, three sets if you feel you can manage, okay? Now, once you've gone through all three sets, we're going to move into cone hops. And for today, I'm just going to use a dumbbell, okay? Lay it flat on the ground here, make it harder, stand it up, use a taller cone. You're going to do two sets. Of 30 seconds a piece. So, get my clock up here. I'm gonna start my clock, and I'm gonna pounce back and forth over this thing as many times as I can in 30 seconds. Take a nice short break and do it one more time. seconds but get the picture so short rest 15 20 seconds repeat and there you go there's your calf crusher and uh, let me know how it goes let me get your feedback and uh, tell me if that's something that you guys love or if you need something more coming your way till next time I'm your active coach for active flicks